What's up, family? How y'all doing? Thank you all for tuning in every day to the page. I know uh, I get things a little hot and heated, but it's all in fun. I'm glad we have a, a place to have adult conversations. So I'm glad you all engaged every day. I'm glad you're enjoying the, the dialogue. Uh, don't forget to join me for these videos. If you want to find all these videos in one place, check out my new YouTube channel, Bayesden After Dark. That's Bayesden After Dark. Check it out. And uh, you'll see all the videos on living your dream. Talk to me, Bayesden After Dark, the whole nine. So Bayesden After Dark on YouTube. So every week uh, on, my, on my social media page, I post a banner asking you all to post your show topic ideas that you want me to share with the other followers. So earlier this week, a woman asked a question, how do you hold on to a man? Or how do you keep a man? And one of my other followers responded with this quote. I thought it was really, I thought it was really good. So check this out. It says, being pretty doesn't keep a man. Being a good woman barely keeps a man. The only thing that keeps a man is a man who wants to be kept. True that, an amen or whatever other expression you wanna use. It's true. But the question is, how do you choose a man who wants to be kept? Now, it's my opinion that it's important for a man to express what he wants at the beginning of the relationship. Now, usually, you know, typically a woman will start running off her list of what she wants, what she doesn't want, what she's not going to put up with. And I think that's a mistake. I think it's important for a man at the beginning of the relationship to express, you know, his ideal woman, his ideal relationship, what his sexual appetite is, right? And I think that's important because this is your process. You know, men should volunteer this information. They should volunteer what they want. But if they don't, I think you have to insist on it as a woman. Why? As I said, you hear me talking about the process of elimination all the time. And your goal when you're meeting someone, if you want to find a man that wants to be kept, is to eliminate those who don't. This is your time, ladies. This is your time that's being spent, right? Also, you know, it, it clears out the air, clears, up, clears everything up so you don't have any, any issues. So he don't block you from finding your ideal man. What's also true is that when you have honesty at the beginning of the relationship, you get two things. First of all, you get away from the expectations. You don't wanna be in that world of expectations. You wanna be in a world of reality, right? And usually when everything is up front in the beginning, when you have honesty at the beginning of the relationship, you know, the man can, you know, sort things out and say, this is what it is and give the woman an opportunity to process it because that's really what you need to do. You need to process, but you can't do that if the man is not giving you accurate, consistent, honest information. Now there's two reasons why I think it's very important for a man to communicate what he wants early on. First of all, ladies, when you're dealing with a man with bad intentions and you all start running off this grocery list, <laughs> this list of everything you want, I wanna be married. I want to have kids. I want a monogamous man. The man with bad intentions is sitting there taking all this in and he's just going to transform himself into everything you just gave Melissa. Yeah, I want to be married too. Yeah, I want kids too. No, let him express what he wants first so you can find out where he's coming from. But even the well-intentioned man wants to put out what it is he's about. Men should be laying the foundation of the relationship. Men should have a vision for what kind of relationship they want. Men should be straight up about whether or not they have room for you in a relationship. The reason why a lot of us can't keep each other, a woman can't keep a man or a man can't keep a woman is that we don't have any place to keep you. There's no room. If you wanna keep a man, you gotta have room for a man and the man's gotta have room for you. As I said earlier, man, one of the issues with keeping a man is, is, is dealing with the reality of who the man is in the beginning. You gotta know the man. And if men are not upfront about who they are, Women can process. Fellas, you know this. And if you don't know, you need to know. Women are very adaptable. They're extremely adaptable. But they can't adapt if you're being inconsistent and being dishonest. At the same time, ladies, you got to be honest with yourself. Because many times you can't keep a man because you're not being real. You're not being honest with yourself. Some men do tell women the truth. Let's be honest. I, I know some of y'all nod you. Some men do. They tell women straight up, this is how it is. This is what I want. This is how I'm living. And you have to be honest with yourself in accepting that. Because you all know as well as I do, some women will hear it. They will process it. And they will start resenting the man for it or believing they're going to change him. So you can't keep a man unless you keep it real, ladies. That's just being honest. Let me just say this and summarize it. 
and wrap this thing up. I think it's very important for women to choose men who value the fact that they can be honest and be accepted by that woman and choose a man who has demonstrated that he's willing to be accountable. Real men dig that, ladies. Real men like that. We love being accountable. You can call it calling a man out, checking a man. For me, it's not checking. It's not disrespectful. To me, it's a woman is just showing her self-worth and showing self-awareness. And you have to choose a mature man, ladies, who appreciates the fact that he can be honest with you and appreciate the fact that he can value a woman that he can be that honest with. In fact, if you choose a man who's already demonstrated that he values that, then he will be focused on keeping you and you don't have to worry about keeping him. That's my opinion, family. Let me know what you think. Thank you all for tuning in. Oh, before I go to all of my entrepreneurs out there, I wanna make sure to remind you all about this whenever we get on social media together because I wanna use this platform to help you all's businesses. Every Wednesday, I'll give you all an opportunity to post your businesses for free. Go right now, you can see the post for businesses. Post your business for free. I grab some of those businesses, post them on a social media platform. We reach tens of millions of people every month on this platform. I want to pay it forward by, you know, taking your business information and sharing it. But you got to help me help you. You got to give me attractive banners. You got to give me great links. And more importantly, I need great videos because videos trend more than anything else. So help me out. Create some really dynamic videos. It really doesn't cost that much, man. You'd be surprised how much you can do with a, with a uh, phone, you know, with an iPhone or a, whatever phone you use. You can really create some very creative videos. For all my business owners, if you own a restaurant, if you own a club, check this out. This is very important. This is new that I'm gonna start doing starting in April. We can go live at your club for 30 minutes, for an hour, hang out. You can talk to some of your patrons. If you have a restaurant, we can talk to some of the people who come in, talk to you about how you started your business. Do it live right here on my platform with millions of people who are tuned in. You can take that video, or I can take the video, and we can share just in your area if you have a business just for that city. You know, there's a lot of great tools on social media and Facebook and Instagram that allow you to target a specific regions. So I want to use this platform to help your restaurants, to help your, your businesses. A lot of guys open up uh, cigar bars. Why not just do something live from your cigar bar? You know, do something live for my realtors and my brokers. Check this out because people are moving all around the country. So my family down there in Florida is blowing up down there, Texas, Nevada, California, wherever, man. We can target people in your area if you just want to send it out or people are moving from all around the country. Advertise with us, become one of our sponsors and come on with me live and talk to me about the market. You can actually walk me through some of your properties or use a PowerPoint while we're doing the interview and talk to people about the stuff that you got on sale in your area. So this is a huge platform, man. We reach a lot of people and it doesn't make sense for me to just use this for myself. I really do want to share this audience. So reach out to us on MingleCity.com, like Mix and Mingle, MingleCity.com, and reach out to us. Of course, you can post your business for free, as I said, on every Wednesday, but we really want you to advertise with us so we can blow your business up, man. We're getting to that point where COVID is about to start loosening up. And we really want to use this platform to get your businesses off the ground because we know uh, African-Americans in particular, people of color, man, our businesses have really suffered in particular single, uh, single moms are really going through it. So let's use this platform to lift everybody up and get to the next level together. All right, family, thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you all on social media. I'm glad you all enjoy and engage. I'm having a great time uh, posting some of these questions and reading you all's responses, man. It's all about engagement and doing it with class. So thank you all for tuning in.